Thanks for letting me use your band-aids, Delaney. Do you ever wake up and have that feeling like it doesn't seem like real life? I'm having one of those mornings right now. It seems surreal because of the fact that I woke up and all of my family members are in the same spots that they fell asleep in last night. So it's kind of strange because of the fact that they usually end up in a different spot. Usually somebody wakes up, somebody cries, but last night was a good night. Well today you get to come along with me on a behind the scenes look at me making my locker video. Usually I make my locker videos in mid-July so that students have plenty of time to re-watch it over and over again before the first day of school. I'm also hauling a bunch of junk to the classroom. I don't know if you could see it back there. I got two chairs for a new table that I'm putting in as well as a bunch of other stuff that has been piling up in my car for the past several days. So it's time to get to the classroom and unload it. We drank the soup sitting up in Mother's bed. If he had been I really love listening to audiobooks on the way to school. It turns my boring ride into the most amazing imaginative journey that I could ever imagine in traffic. Even though I grimaced at the soup and at Mandy's retreating back, I'll wait for mine to cool, Mother said. Then after Mandy left, she took the hairs out while she ate and put them back in the empty bowl when she was done. The next day I was well and Mother was much worse. I love coming into school over summer because it's so quiet. It's glorious. I love walking through the halls and not hearing anybody else. It's kind of like when I come to school at 6 in the morning, um, but the difference is that I know students aren't going to come later in the day. <laughs> and something that I absolutely love doing when there's no tables in the classroom is this. can't do that during the school year. Okay, it's time to get down to business. Uh, first thing that I do is I pick a locker. And I know that the last couple of years I think I used these two, so I think I might venture out over here in the middle somewhere um, in this area. This, number 15, looks promising. So now, what I need to do next is I need to go find the locker combination. And the important thing is, is to do this before I switch all the combinations to the locks. That's what I do a couple days before the first day of school. Fifth and sixth grade locker combinations. I'm going to blur this out because of the fact that I don't want any of my students to find what other people's locker combinations are. Okay, so number 15 and last year's combination is this column. And the way that it works is that there's five different combinations, five columns for each locker number for what you can change it to. So there's five different combinations that each locker has a possibility of having. And so we rotate them. So this column is what we're going to have this year. So the last year's column is this column. So I'm going to find out that this is the combination for that locker. 9, 15, 43. So what I do is I get a note card. Oh my goodness. How am I going to get back there to get my note card? Parkour! 
Okay, so now that I have my note card, I am ready to go for writing down the combination for the video. I don't have a table to write it on. Well, I guess I could use this table over here. This is going to be fun to have a uh, Disney princess band-aid while I do my locker combination. But I'll roll with it because I love my daughter and she loves Disney princesses. Okay, I already forgot what the combination was, so let me look again. Locker number 15, 9, 15, 43. Okay, so I have this ready to go. I'm going to put this over here so that I can be ready with everything that I need. That's going to be out of the picture. This is going to be my little picture spot for when I write down the combination. I'm going to be over here because I want a good background for when I'm saying hello and welcoming them, when I'm welcoming my students. So I like having the Pez background because of the fact that that's probably one of the most unique things about my room that the fifth graders are going to be anticipating. I don't really know if I need anything else. Oh, my notes, uh, which are on my phone. Okay, so here are the notes that I wrote myself. I've realized that the past few years my locker videos have been longer and longer each year. So I remember my original one was short and sweet and that's something that I'm trying to do recently is be short and sweet and succinct and to the point and not long-winded. And so I'm going to try and go back just like the first video and be short and sweet and to the point. And these notes are everything that I wanted to include, which hopefully isn't very much. I've got lots of great stuff planned for you this year, but before you come in, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I've got my notes, and I've got my combination in case I forget it. And I got my note card. Oh, I need a Sharpie. I've tried doing it with a pencil, and that does not work because of the fact that it doesn't show up well on camera. Oh, I think that's it. <clears throat> hey fifth graders, Mr. Riedel here. I hope that you are looking forward to fifth grade this year because I sure am. You know, I've noticed something about vlogging and about talking to the camera is that just like I said in my locker video about how practice makes perf- well, practice makes almost perfect. Um, the last few years, I have done take after take after take of the locker video, and it took me a lot longer. But since I've been vlogging and talking to the camera a lot more this past year, even though it's not very much, it still is much faster than I have done all my previous years. So I'm learning from my own advice about opening a locker. It's kind of like vlogging. Practice makes better for vlogging too and talking, feeling comfortable in front of the camera. Anyway, it just helps me remember that even as an adult, it's good to practice and get better at things if you do them over and over again. So, hmm, pretty helpful. Wow, that went a lot quicker than I expected it to. I don't have a lot of other stuff to do. I only have a little bit of time before I need to go home so that Jen can go to a meeting. What can I do? I guess I could go through the junk that I brought. These chairs are actually... <clears throat> my good friend's old dining room table. I got a nut and washer for it to connect the legs to the table. This is actually going to be one of my new tables. <clears throat> I got an idea from Bridget from the lettered classroom about having like a, anti I don't know if it's antique is the right word, but kind of an old fashioned looking dining room table in your classroom. And so I found the, these chairs, they're a little beat up, but I feel like that's authentic, right? So these chairs are going to be around that table and going to be one of the choices for seating. Um, I figured a lot of students go home and if they work on homework at their dining room table, then it'll feel just like home and feel really com comfortable for them. So that's something that I would pick. I love working at my dining room table. So that's something that I would appreciate. I just have two more left to bring from home, and I'll do that tomorrow. I couldn't fit the other two chairs in my tiny little car. Okay, got some <clears throat> canned food donations for Neighborhood House. 
I was trying to fix this. This is where my students keep their headphones, and I retaped them so that they look a little bit nicer, but I'm still not that happy with it. There's not enough room because usually I have 27, 26, 27 students, and there's not enough spaces for all of them. So, I don't know. We'll see how many students I have this year, and maybe I'll change that later. Oh, this was a big haul that I got from Fred Meyer. I, what I do is I buy all of my pencils at the beginning of the year. And these are the best pencils that I've ever used. Um, Ticonderoga and Renew. And it's re mostly recycled pencils and <clears throat> they're just fantastic pencils. And they're also, they don't have any like glossy finish to them. They're just wood and so I can write using Sharpie on pencil itself and it won't get rubbed off or anything because it just goes straight into the wood. So it's really good for writing using Sharpie to write the student names on the pencils. So I got enough pencils for all my students for the rest of the year. I also bought two additional mason jars. These two are going to replace these two here for my pencil system. I needed smaller jars because often when the students sharpen their pencil then they got shorter even though they were still um, even though they were still good enough to use they would just sharpen it and get smaller and smaller and then it would go beneath the edge of the mason jar so it was too short but this way a smaller mason jar will be much better because then it will be practically this much left of a pencil half a pencil left and usually they don't cut them that they don't sharpen them that quickly within two weeks anyway. <clears throat> and then these two mason jars will be relocating to under here. So I'm changing it so that my highlighters are in this row here and my dry erase markers are going to be in this row here. The dry erase markers are right next to the whiteboards. And they can do the same thing with my colored pencils and markers is they can take these out and my supply team will be able to pass them out Quickly. I don't know what I'm going to put here. I think I'm actually going to put this. I got this as a gift. That fits kind of nice in there. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but it looks pretty cool. Um, here's some other stuff that I got. I brought these clips in to support my my green screen over there. Last week what I did is I took my green screen and I hung it up and I adjusted it by hanging it up on these clips over here, here and here. I needed to figure out a way to roll it up well without getting wrinkles in it and I think I figured out a system. I just needed these clips in order to do it. I put it on either end. So I just brought these from home and I will just have these up here ready to go the next time I use my green screen. Uh, Treats from the airplane ride when we went to Arizona, stud finder, oh, I needed to bring this from home because I needed to figure out where the studs were in the wall. I had some difficulty nailing, some, um, driving in some nails into the wall and I think maybe it's because there's a stud there so I'm going to use that to figure that out uh, and I'll finish that later on another day. My mother-in-law didn't want these spice racks so I think I'm going to repurpose them. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use them, but I thought it was pretty cool to have like stadium seating for my Pez dispensers and maybe I might put them up like this so that they're on like risers and then you can see the ones in the back more easily. Maybe some of the boxes with the collector's edition Pez, maybe put those on the stadium seating, I don't know. I'll think about it later and try and figure out what I want to do with it. Oh, this is something else that I got from my mother-in-law when we were in Arizona. Her old camera is perfect for a classroom camera because then the students can use it. Last year, the only thing that I had for my photography team was this Nexus 7 tablet. They would use this to take pictures in the class. 
I mean, honestly, who likes taking pictures on a tablet? It's just ridiculous, right? You'd much rather have a camera to use. So this camera will be nicer for taking pictures. Even though it's not the best quality, it's a several years old, it's still better than a tablet, in my opinion. Um, the only nice thing about taking pictures on a tablet is that you can automatically share to Instagram. Whereas using this, I think that my students might have to use up a few extra minutes of recess in order to have them transfer these pictures onto the tablet so that they can post them onto Instagram. So we'll see how that works. I'm not sure exactly how efficient it is, but um, personally, I'd rather take a picture with an actual camera. Well, that's all I needed to do at school. So now I'm gonna head home a little early before I was supposed to and get working on some video editing. Waiting for Perry. So I am going to take those other two chairs back to school tomorrow and then I will have a complete table with chairs. I just hung up my kids bikes yesterday, I put a hook in the ceiling and I like the way that that looks. It looks pretty cool having that in the background. Much better than just a plain wall, huh? And bonus, it's better organized. I'm really enjoying having a garage because I can use it as a place to video edit and a nice place to organize all of our stuff. Even though we live in a two-bedroom apartment, it is really great to have a garage. Lots of storage space. All right. I am going to be working on my Arizona video. I need to finish that first, and then I will start working on my locker video. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Hey, fifth graders. I am about getting really looking forward. More excited than and... I have lots of fun stuff planned. I have a lot of great fun. <clears throat> I have a lot of great.